K-I-L-R Killer Games I'm the Killer Gamer. And I'm Nerd Gamer 2K. And this is Pac Man Bones. All right, so what is Pac Man? Well, if you're asking, I don't even know why you're here. It's an arcade game developed by Nameco and released in Japan on May 22nd, 1980. It was licensed by Midway and distributed in the United States by October the same year. It's considered to be classic amongst arcade games. And naturally, it's an icon of 1980s pop culture. And it's the longest running video game franchise from the golden age of video arcade games. Now, part of the collection is in the Smithsonian Institution and it's also in the New York Museum of Modern Art. Oh, that's kind of cool. The game was originally called Puck Man, but some uh, uh, dirty-minded people. Uh, the, the name was later. It was later changed because people decided to vandalize it and have the name read differently. Now, this game has been ported to many, many game consoles, computers, and handheld devices. So, if you don't know what Pac-Man is, you must be in a cave, and I don't know how you're watching this video. <laughs> and speaking of videos, on this video, we'll be playing the most popular and well-done Pac-Man port of all time! Woo! And that's it. <laughs> it's an Atari original! What does that mean? I don't know. Sold 7 million units and was the best-selling game of all time for the Atari 2600. That means when it first came out, everyone was expecting it, and it... Went down. Kind of turned into what you see on the screen. So, forget about the 7 million units, and that 5 million cart cartridges went unsold, and were buried somewhere in New Mexico. <laughs> And also that the game became a contributor to the fall of Atari and the 1983 video game crash. Now there is a more accurate version that came out in 1999 as a homebrew hack of Miss Pac-Man. I mean, they took Miss Pac-Man and they made a hack of it and it wind, wound up looking the way Pac-Man should have looked. This game is called Pac-Man Arcade. Uh, it utilizes improved spike graphics, um, so it's not sitting there blinking as it goes across the screen. <laughs> um, and even the theme music was changed to match what Pac-Man should be. Uh, and lastly, uh, there's altered sound elements uh, in the game which help match it to the original arcade version and that's what it looks like so why couldn't they why couldn't atari do this when the game first came out uh, who knows but many 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 years later someone managed to do it so at least if you want to play pac-man retro style on a atari 2600 yeah at least you have a good version to be able to do that on so, how do you play Pac-Man? Seriously? You move the controls. <laughs> Alright, so for those of you who want to know, alright, let's look at the table of contents. Here's Pac-Man, life, alright, we're done. <laughs> Here's Pac-Man. We know that millions of people all over the world just love the Pac-Man game. <laughs> That's assuming you know what Pac-Man is. Pac-Man has won the hearts of men, women, and children everywhere. We also know that Pac-Man has traditionally been an arcade game. Well... Traditionally. Traditionally. We know how to bring the same dynamite gameplay into your home. Yes. You sure did. 
our Pac-Man, our Pac-Man as an Atari, has all of the excitement, right, and challenge of the standard arcade game. <laughs> it doesn't match it at all, though. And you get to play in the comfort and convenience of your own home. Actually, you get to suffer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's not convenient at all. Anyway, this is especially advantageous if you still plan to make an occasional appearance at the arcade to show off your great playing skills. Little do they know that you've been practicing at home all along. On a Pac-Man version that looks absolutely nothing like the one in the arcade. So I don't know how you could practice your skills. Anyway, just in case you're new to Pac-Man, don't worry. It's easy to learn. You'll be a pro in no time at all. Uh-huh. I don't know. The last time I played this, I was no pro. I didn't even laugh. <laughs> That's because this is a bad version. <clears throat> so, relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get comfortable. Don't do it. And enjoy it in the privacy of your own home. We suggest that you read this instruction booklet thoroughly before beginning gameplay because lord forbid if you actually started playing this game before reading the manual you wouldn't know how to play <laughs> we know that you won't want to miss any important details about gameplay you might even find it entertaining maybe i think actually i think the manual is probably more entertaining than the game itself probably <clears throat> all right life in maze land the object of the game is to keep Pac-Man happy, just like what you see in the picture. <laughs> oh, I'm happy and healthy. <clears throat> see, he's jogging. He's healthy. In his home of Mazeland, Pac-Man starts the game with four lives. In case you don't know what that means, turns. The longer he survives, the more points you score. What? Really? Nah. Get out of here. You score a point for every video wafer. It's a wafer, not a dot. Get that straight. That Pac-Man eats. You also score points when Pac-Man eats power pills. Not wafers. Power pills. Power pills. Vitamins. Not fruit. <laughs> and goats. Uh, every time Pac-Man eats all the video wafers. I think a wafer. I think of like a cookie or something. Uh, on the maze, he earns an extra life and a new maze full of video wafers. Like those vanilla wafer things. Yeah, vanilla wafers, exactly. That's what I was thinking of. The following information lists all of Pac-Man's nutritional needs. Which, what if you don't feed him? Well, he'll die. <laughs> you can't stop. He keeps moving, so I don't know. That <clears throat> he's, always, he's always jogging. That's what it is. Which also happen to be your point scoring objects. All right, so wafers, video wafers. These are dotted lines on the screen. You maneuver Pac-Man around the play field over to video wafers. He automatically eats the video wafers and they disappear from the maze. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Like magic. You score, <laughs> like this game, it's magic. You score one point for each video wafer he eats. To score a point, Pac-Man must pass directly over the video wafer. Not around. Not around. You can't go around it. You can't go over it. Wait a minute. You gotta go through it. You gotta go through it, but they say over. But anyway, power pills. Power pills? It looks like a Hall's uh, menthol cough drop. <laughs> it looks like a pillow or a mattress. That's a very... Oh, yeah. A mattress would be better. If that's a pillow, that looks hard. Power pills are located in the four corners of the play field. Each power pill is worth five points. When Pac-Man eats a power pill, the ghosts become a transparent blue color. Like those scared blue ghosts. During this time, Pac-Man has a super strength. To over it's like spinach. It's like Popeye in spinach. To overcome the ghost. This is his big chance to chase and gobble down each ghost. Gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Unfortunately, this gray power only lasts a few seconds. When the power starts wearing off, the ghosts turn pink and then back to yellow. But don't forget, if they're moving around, they actually blink across the screen because the, the graphics sprites suck. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, music notes stop several seconds before ghosts turn back. Vitamins. Now, vitamins Vitamins are the two intersecting rectangles in the center of the play field. They only appear for a few moments and then disappear and reappear. The oh. vitamins are worth 100 points each time Pac-Man eats them. Oh, <laughs> that's the ghost they sing. 
The ghosts are the quartet of the bad guys chasing Pac-Man around the maze. They sing as they do it. That's why you hear this. That's actually them singing. Hmm. If I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if a ghost eats, I could be, I don't know. I could Beautiful. be right. I don't know. If a ghost eats Pac-Man, you lose a turn. Oh, what? That's one life, by the way. On the other hand, if Pac-Man eats a ghost, you score points. Pac-Man fever uh, can only eat ghosts after eating a power pill. Then he can run around the maze eating ghosts. The first ghost is worth 20 points. The second ghost is worth 40 points. Oh, no. The third is worth 80 60. points. And the fourth is worth 160 points. Now, if you know math, they actually double. See no. that? 40. 40. Doubled. doubled. 40. 40. Double that. 80. Double that. 160. But it doesn't go to 80. Yeah, it does. 20, Where? 40, 80, 160. All right. <laughs> Never mind Nerd Gamer 2K. She's still working on her math. Uh-huh. <laughs> if the power pill wears off before Pac-Man eats all the ghosts, he must eat another power pill and start chasing the ghost again, starting at 20 points again. Uh After Pac-Man eats the ghost, you only see eyes left on the ghost. But the ghosts are reincarnated. <laughs> Interesting. A ghost is reincarnated into another ghost. Well, you yeah. know. How does that work? That doesn't even work in The Sims. Uh, anyway. Uh, they reincarnate by returning to the big square chamber in the center of the field. And they all fit together in one little square on top of each other. Uh, anyway, using your controllers, well, there's your joystick. Uh, very simple. One button. You don't even use the button. You don't have guns or anything to shoot the uh, ghosts. ghosts. You can't jump <laughs> over them either. Uh, be sure the controller cables are firmly plugged into the controller jacks at the back of your video arcade. Uh, for one player, use the joystick on the left. The other one, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Use the joystick control of the guy pack me around the maze, uh, if you haven't figured it out. The red fire button is not used during gameplay, although it may be used to start a game. All right, well, we know you can kind of use that. Um... Remember, you can use the uh, escape routes on the top and the bottom, uh, just like uh, in that picture there. You can go, ooh, that'll just go down uh, the sewer, go someplace else. Uh, let's see, uh, they might be waiting for Pac-Man on the other side, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see, you got the one-player, two-player game, uh, you've got skill switches, uh, which allows you to switch from novice to expert. Um, and then uh, you can switch your uh, TV to color or black and white. You know, if you still have a vacuum tube television uh, somewhere in your basement. Uh, as far as game variations, there are eight variations, as you see listed here. Game one, ghost move at jogging speed. Game two, ghost move at running speed. Uh, seven is for uh, especially uh, slow for young children, um, assuming that they don't laugh at you for uh, you showing them to play this game. Uh, <laughs> and eight is the ghost moving at a walking speed. Uh, three, four, five, and six feature a fast Pac-Man and ghost that move at varying speeds. Uh, and there's just more stuff going on there for three, four, five, and six. Chances are you'll start off with uh, level number one. And you won't go any further because you'll probably throw this game right out the window door. Or you might set it on fire and uh, have a party or something. Or you may see this video and say, screw this, I'm not getting this game. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's some helpful hints for Pac-Man survival. Um, I don't think it helps you with the 2600 version of the game, but uh, anyway... Uh, when all the ghosts are hiding on top of each other, eat a power pill, and then you can gobble all four ghosts in one big bite. They don't, and, they don't top on each other. Not what I usually see. But you only score three hundred points. How's that worth it? Oh wait, or I don't know. No, okay. If you add them all, I, I ain't gonna try to do math. This you is get a video. more. Because yeah. Separately would be one sixty. All together is three hundred. 
Like if you ate them all separately, it's 160. Well, no, there's 20 and 40, which is oh, 60. Wait. And then 60 and 80 is 140. And 140 and 100, it's the same thing. Yeah, so. <laughs> you, you don't gain cool, anything. But... You get the same amount of points, so who cares? All right, try to eat as many video wafers as possible. <laughs> if you can get through this crazy maze, uh, this will save the power pill until you really need it. Before you eat a power pill, stay in the corner close to it. So you can tease the ghost into moving closer to you. Tease. Da, 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 tease. Come on over here, ghost. Thus allowing you to eat more ghosts with one power pill. Okay. Use the top and the bottom openings in the maze no. like a tunnel to outsmart the ghost. Unless they outsmart you and they're on the other side. Exactly. Uh, slip in and out of the openings to escape hungry ghosts. And then we have a blank page. So you could write notes on there about how badly this game sucks. <laughs> all right, so with all that, let's go ahead and play uh, the Pac-Man uh, game for the Atari 2600. And then uh, we'll redeem ourselves by playing the much better uh, hacked version of uh, Pac-Man called Pac-Man Pac Arcade. And that is a vi real video cartridge, so you can... Actually, plug it into your Atari 2600. All right, here we are. Pac-Man, the best version ever. Nah. So, let's see. What options do we have? There are... It's so colorful. Yeah, it's so colorful. It's wonderful. So, you've got two-player. Well, I don't know what the other options are, but... Uh... So, I think what it is, it's like green is one player, red is the other player. But then what would the, like, the 1, 2, 3, 6 thing? They're just different difficulty levels. Um, I'm not quite sure what so they are. So the difficult Wow, one. that's uh, actually very... Obnoxious. Yeah. Whoa, look at the ghosts. They're all like... Yeah. Fun, fun stuff. Whoa. Yeah, we can turn it black and white if we want, or just turn on the color. <laughs> I like it black and white. It looks cool. It does kind of look cool. Looks like Halloween. It actually makes the game look better. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't right. my eyes either. Let's, let's do this. I just love how you move. <laughs> I like to eat things through my... Oops. Through your head. Through my head. Although I do like the sound effects. At least you turn around when you turn. And at least you're not eating with your back. Boop, you. This maze is such a pain. Why? Well, look at me. Look how you gotta go up and around and... That took forever. Whoa, whoa! What are you doing? You almost didn't make that. Ah, 
Ow. <laughs> Barely touched me. Me, 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 me. Boo. <laughs> what was that, boo? That was me hitting the energizer, which I think they called it differently in the <laughs> in the manual. What's energizer? What turns the ghost blue and stuff? Oh, you mean those big things? What? Seriously? You haven't even finished. You have four. Four. Get it? Not that one. Yeah. <laughs> Does All the right. maze change? Nope. That's it. Stays like this forever and ever. Do the ghosts ever. do different patterns of movement? Um. Yeah, they come after you. Um. That's all I know. I know they Hello. do a certain pattern. Are there people like in the arcade Pac-Man's like memorize the patterns? Oh yeah. How can you memorize something like that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I forget, that doesn't work very well in this- Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. Look, they're all shaking all over the place. Yeah. Game over, man! Game, Game over. over! Game over, man! Alright, your turn. Uh... <laughs> I might do better. You might do better. I don't but know what to push. Just just the joystick right there. You don't have to push any buttons. Alright, you ready? Oh, I was talking about to start it. Oh, no. This is over here. Okay. Eh, this is difficult. It wouldn't go to the thingy. It wouldn't go to the thingy. Should be. It's very difficult to move it. Why in the world are they going into the... They're like stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's totally awesome. They are oh, stuck. Yeah. <laughs> that's the joy of being me. But it's going to be difficult getting those ones on the I know. Bottom. Well, you know what? Save everything. Don't get your don't get your little energizer or power pack. Cuz I was saying you could save your energizer for one uh I think of Star Trek. When you get Oh, that that's just so awesome that they're stuck. <laughs> How did that even happen? Because this game is such a glitchy mess. <laughs> but what in the world? I just, <laughs> that's cool. I think this is a feature that they didn't tell anyone about. Yeah, don't go up there. Uh, no, no, don't go up there. No, 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 no. See? Well, I was just going to say, just use your uh, power I wonder if there. I use those, it'll reset it. It might. No. Nope. <laughs> what the... It didn't... That's why they're stuck. <laughs> why? You can't get them in there. You just come through the other side. See? Yeah, they're stuck. There ain't nothing you can do to release it, except for get that. Wow, they should get stuck more often. Well... They got back at you. My lives are green dots. That's still weird how they got stuck. I got lucky. I don't even remember seeing them going in there. So spellbound and excited that we're just, we're just talking a lot. Totally. We're just totally well, engrossed in this game at the moment. There's nothing you can really talk about when playing a game like this. You have to use your imagination. Oh look, I'm eating dots. <laughs> Those aren't dots. <laughs> Lines of some sort. If you remember the cover, it looks like he was getting wafers. I think that 
croissants. Actually, what they're called is wafers. Croissants. No, he's a croissant. <laughs> he's a fortune cookie. Uh, oh. I tricked it. No. Oh. Stupid controls. Oh. oh. Further than me. See? But you got more points because you ate more peeps. Oh, that's right. Oh, you're Whoa. I pushed that way. Well, don't want to go that way. But... Whoa! Oh, just barely. I thought it changed. What? I pushed down, stupid thing. Alright, man, that was great. Alright, what happens if we just try one of the, uh, let's, let's do, what, how, uh, how hard did it? Oh, I nine. Just, nine? No, it went to like... Eight. Eight. It makes sense if it was nine. Let's, let's see what happens when we do eight. They look slower. It looks like you're going faster. I don't see any difference whatsoever. They're no. going really slow. I think that's the di They're going so slow, I even st I still even... I still get owned. Maybe it's harder to control Pac-Man. But why are they so slow? They're going really slow. Huh. Let's try... That's two player. Let's try two and see what get what we get. Yeah, can see that? They're going really fast. So eight is the easiest and one is the hardest? Typically eight or one is the the default one. Hmm. Alright, let's uh What? Oh, I <laughs> got it before you did. Let's go to four and let's see what this one is. So slow. They got slower. They get really slow. You can cheat with that. But would you want to? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be able to beat that thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like they're slow and they go the opposite direction you are in. The irony of all of this is that if they wanted to, they could have made a better um, Pac-Man conversion. Because they did really well with the Miss Pac-Man. The what? Miss Pac-Man. Oh, I thought you said Mitts. Oh, no, no. They did a Miss Pac-Man for the 2600. And it actually <laughs> mazes. You know, there's different mazes. It looks better. Than this. When Pac-Man just sits there, look at his mouth. Bleh. It's hilarious. Like, let him just sit there. <laughs> I'm geesing. Mwah, 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 mwah. He doesn't even close his mouth all the way. Oh, look, there's your fruit. A nice cake. I was thinking it was in a box. I'm using my imagination. Because that's what you said. Yeah, this is an imagination game. But, on that subject, let me show you what someone actually did for the Atari 2600. Um, this is not an official release, but it proves that a Pac-Man for the 2600 could have been done right. Alright, here we are. This is a... Um, I guess you could call it a homebrew version <laughs> of, of Pac-Man. Look at his eyes. Um, hey, they're doing the Pac-Man thingy. Yeah. So really, what 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 the what this uh, person did? See, see, this is 1999 Atari. There's only four. Yeah, it's only four ghosts. What they did is they took the Miss Pac-Man that was done for the 2600 and uh, fooled around with it, and then made the made the Pac-Man. So, I mean, it's... It's like the world's easiest maze. I mean, this is... I mean, the maze is pretty darn close to what it was. Kinda. But, uh... It's my jam. What? I mean, this is, like, totally better. 
way better. It's, I mean, it moves, it doesn't eat by its head. Although the sounds hurt my ears. It's got the little siren in the back. <gasps> There's your fruit! It's not a box! And he doesn't eat out of his head, either. That's what I said! That'd be cool if you get, like, extra points if you'd eat their eyes. Because it's really hard to catch up to their eyes, so you should get extra points to try to eat them. Did you eat it all? Look, I even got more more points. Huh? Whoa. I got a better score in this than I do the uh It's cause it's a lot easier and I think the thingies give you they give you like ten points. Ow That kinda hurts. Yes. <laughs> it's like Uh oh. Ow 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 <laughs> We're trying to kill you! Or me. I don't know. Killing. I have a, I have a headache now. Oh. Thank goodness. Alright, well, anyway. That was. Me! Pac Man! For the Atari 2600, along boop, with boop, 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 what it could have been. Boop, boop. <laughs> so shiny! But wasn't. Hey, if it had been this, this probably would have sold even more. Yeah, oh my goodness, this would have been crazy. It's hard to believe that this was a hack. I mean, seriously. Yeah, well, no, see there. I mean, there are people out there that actually, you know, with a little bit of love, they can do some amazing things. And there's a lot of, uh, lot of uh, programmers out there that just love to... That are still making games for the 2600. They're just their homebrews, is what they call them. Like this. Yeah, like this, just so they can push the Atari 2600 in ways that it's never been pushed before, because they find it to be challenging. Oh, oh. Which I think is really cool. <sighs> okay. And if you didn't like this video. Or you like Atari videos, then be sure to check out our other Atari videos. Yeah. we got plenty of them. And more. Or if you don't like this one, check out the other ones. <laughs>